All right, guys, so I think we need to talk about just how ridiculous Int Janemba is now after his Extreme Z Awakening and just how broken they decided to make him. In my mind, he is without a doubt the best Extreme Z Awakened unit we've gone up to this point. And rest in peace, STR Janemba, because it's not even close, man. The comparison between the new Int Janemba versus the STR Janemba, the 120 lead, is so one-sided towards Int Janemba that <laughs> it's just not fair, man. It's just not fair. And I love, I just love this. I love how strong, how powerful they made Int Janemba. And I can't wait for this EZA to come to global. But you know what? For the time being, let's just take a quick look at the changes they've made. And then we'll pop over to the Reddit and look at a post about some damage calculation numbers and just see what kind of insane numbers this guy can put out on a movie boss's category. But first things first, his leader skill went from int types attack plus 80% just straight up attack to int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90% which is the same as LR Gohan and that's a very solid leader skill. I mean there are better leaders out there but if you need a good int leader and you don't have like a Kid Buu or an int Gogeta, that's not bad at all. For his super attack and went from supreme damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense to immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. So expect the change there from supreme to immense for a Dokkan Fest unit. Nothing crazy there. Moving on to his passive, it went from attack and defense plus 5000 which was a fairly low flat boost. But guard activated against all attacks which is what made him so useful in the past. He was a very good tank because of the fact that he guards against every single attack. But now his new passive is attack and defense plus 70% which is significantly higher. Like very, very, very much higher uh, than the flat boost he got before. Guard activated against all attacks so they kept that perfect. Medium chance to evade enemies attacks including super attacks for one turn. So the same as STR Janemba's passive with the 30% chance to dodge. And attack plus 40% for four turns once guard is activated. But keep in mind that he guards against all attacks. So basically every time he takes an attack, he gets that additional 40% boost. His links stay the same, his categories stay the same, and his new stats should be somewhere down here. So these are his new stats. He gets up to 18,685 attack, 16,215 HP, and 11,495 defense. So, I mean, in the past, even before his Extreme Z Awakening, he wasn't, you know, unusable. He just wasn't amazing. He was outdated, but now they made him so so good and those of you who are like i mean attack defense was 70 percent like that's not so high right let me show you some numbers in a second let me see if there's anything here that i missed though let's go over to the dokkan subreddit and we have a post here by my boy rattler zz if you guys are have been on this channel for a while you know that i've used some of his tier lists in the past for videos and i think he's cool with them because he has chatted with me in the past he has donated to the streams as well and i think we're cool so i think he'll be okay with me using this post but i just want to make sure that i give him the credit that he deserves because he did put in that work for this post so rattler zz my boy he is the one that made all this stuff i don't take any credit for it but anyways what he says is that in Janemba gets a total of 138% attack when his guard is activated. This boost has a 100% uptime due to it being activated again once the 4 turns are over. So keep in mind it's 138% because the 70% and the 40% are calculated separately. So it actually goes higher than the you know, cumulative 110%. So 138% attack on his passive, right? I'm gonna move on and he's talking about using, it on a, uh, using him on a movie boss's category team. And a few things to keep in mind is that Fierce Battle is up 100% of the time and Big Bad Bosses is up 80% of the time. These are assumptions, of course, but based on the setup that he, he made, which is in Janemba plus Physical Final Form Cooler, of course, they'll both have Fierce Battle and then Big Bad Bosses being up 80% of the time, I think is a fair assumption. Calculations now. Numbers. These are This is what you guys really care about, the actual numbers, right? So... Uh, the calculations at the free dupe level on the movie boss's team, his average attack per turn would be 1.745 million, which is already ridiculous. That's already very, very high. Think about this. A unit with no dupes, just the 55% you can get from the free, free dupe level can get up to 1.745 million attack right but if you factor in the fact that you also have turtles as a support you add him into that rotation that's 1.94 million right there almost 2 million free dupe 
just with Turles as a support unit, right? Now at the rainbow level, things get a little crazy. 3.467 million would be his, his average attack per turn on movie bosses. And at the rainbow level with Turles, you add Turles into that equation, you bump that up to 3.85 million. Almost 4 million attack per turn. Almost 4 million attack. And this guy is like a very, very old unit, man. Like it's just, it blows my mind that even with Extreme Z Awakening, that his numbers could get up to that high. So his conclusion, Rattler's easiest conclusion is, yep, and that's all I really gotta say about it too, man. Yep, that's all I can say. There's not much to say except for the fact that he is absolutely freaking busted. And you gotta keep in mind that he's not just a damage dealer, man. If he was just a damage dealer, you'd be like, okay, but like, can he tank though? He, what if he's a glass cannon? But no, he's not. He gets 70% on his defense, right? 70% defense, and he guards against all attacks, guys. So he is gonna be an amazing tank. I haven't seen really any tanking calculations in terms of tank, tanking numbers or uh, any tests yet. I haven't seen any of the showcases out there yet, but... I, I'm, I can only assume that he is going to be an amazing tank as well because of the defense on his passive as well as guarding against all attacks, not just against attacks that he has type advantage over, but every single attack he will guard against. So yeah, his tanking will be off the charts as well. He is probably, as my boy AC Gaming has said, one of the best two-way units in this entire game for both attack out the damage output and defensive utility. So. Oh, oh, also, I totally forgot, he has a 30% chance to dodge as well. So he has 30% chance to dodge, guards against all attacks, plus 70% defense, and ridiculous, ridiculous damage output at rainbow level. At the rainbow level, he will output almost 4 million damage <laughs> per turn with Turtles in rotation on a movie boss's team. So this guy's broken. He is absolutely broken. Um, it's not much else to say, man. <laughs> I, I wish I had him on JP, but I don't because I, I have a JP account, but I barely play it. So all I can do is wait really for him to come to, or the EZA to come to Global, and I'll do a showcase for you guys then, of course. Um, he's busted. He's absolutely broken. And you know what? This gives me hope. This gives me a lot of hope for Gogeta, for STR Gogeta, because this guy is way better than STR Janemba right now. Like way better than STR Janemba right now. And until of course, eventually, maybe in like two years, a year and a half, two years, maybe STR Gogeta will get an Extreme Z Awakening as well. And then he'll be better than In Janemba again. But for the time being, he is way better than STR Janemba. So just imagine STR Gogeta, right? STR Gogeta with an Extreme Z Awakening, I think now, just, just based off this as a reference, that he is gonna be quite a bit better than Int Gogeta, and Int Gogeta is still one of the best, one of the top tier units in this game, so how much damage, how crazy powerful are they gonna make STR Gogeta, man, is this gonna, guy gonna be putting out like 5 million, 6 million damage, are they gonna give him, even if they just gave him 70% attack on his passive, maybe 80%, his damage will be off the charts because his attack stat right now is already at 17,000. So it's probably gonna go up to like 18,000, or no, it's gonna go up to like 20,000. And I mean, it just like blows my mind what kind of damage this guy will be doing on a Fusions team. On a Fusions team with 170% leads. Oh man, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be so, so crazy. STR Gogeta, I, I wholeheartedly believe will replace Int Gogeta once he gets his Extreme Z Awakening. So yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for that. I can't wait for them to announce it. That's like the number one thing that I'm waiting for, aside from the fact that I really want them to announce something about the Broly and Gogeta celebration on Global so that we know it's gonna happen at the same time. I've heard some rumors, some whispers that they're gonna delay it for Global, which I really hope doesn't happen, but it could always happen. So I'll keep you guys posted about that. Fingers crossed it doesn't. Fingers crossed that it's still a dual celebration on both sides at the same time. But anyways, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this man. He's busted. He's broken. If you're on JP right now, go farm him out, farm him out right now. Or maybe it's not out yet. I don't know. I, if, if it's not out yet, then when, it's, when it drops, make sure you farm this guy up. Make sure you get him to, get him to SA15. And he's going to be amazing. Amazing for you. Um, that's all I gotta say. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this unit and what you guys think about the potential for STR Gogeta now compared to him. 
Um, that's all I gotta say, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. And just one last thing, Follow your boy on Twitter. He's on Twitter now. Or I'm talking about, talking about myself in third person for some reason. I'm on Twitter now. Eat like Goku is my handle. And just follow me there. It's a new account, so I want to make sure that you guys know about it. But that's all I'm going to say. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.